Hi, it's Fit and 50. Going to do an unboxing today. I'm pretty excited. We got our uh, our upgraded equipment to improve our videos. I said when I hit 100 subscribers that uh, we were going to buy some more equipment. And here it is. It all came in the mail. I actually had to turn this box this way. You see what they went and did to me here. They just sent this thing. Just mangled. But hopefully it's good inside. You're going to find out with me. Haven't opened it up yet to find out if it's even good. Uh, we own an iPad Pro, the 9.7 inch version, and that's what we film all our videos on. So this equipment is to help to do a better quality video. Now we're going to start with this box here. And uh, let's see what we got, see if I can keep from stabbing myself. There's still more stuff I can get to upgrade, and I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking when I hit 250, Subscribers, I'm gonna do my next upgrade. Get rid of all the packaging. And there we are, we have a Samsung XPD1. Look at that, I can read it from the back so I can look really intelligent. USB digital wireless system. So this is a remote mic, it's a clip-on mic. Let's open it up here. See what we have. Which will help to improve the voice quality a bit, or that is the plan, look at that. There we are, and we'll just take that out of the packaging a little bit more. A little waist clip. I know I do a lot of these videos with my shirt off, so but on the upside I use a bow tie, so this clip is going to have to go on the bow tie. So what do we got here? So this would just clip on like so. Of course it's not going to work today because I don't have any batteries in there. I think I recall it said it's got like eight hours of battery time. Probably most of the time I'll be trying to tuck that in behind me probably. I would think, try not to fumble around here too much. Oh, look at that, clips in nice and easy. Tuck it in behind here somewhere. So it's out of the way. And onto my belt, so I guess that's exactly how I'll use that when we uh, start using it, other than I'll probably clip it on my bow tie, because that's usually how I do my videos, right? And then this part here, that's the part that clips in to the iPad. I might have to get an adapter in for that, you know that? We'll see when we get down to this box. This box here might answer that. But we're going to do, yeah, we'll do it next. Because this box ties into that one. So I'll just set this one here for now. And we'll get some of that paper out of the way. Now let's see if this survived, because it looks bad. It looks nasty, eh? Cutting toward myself, I'm sure. That's smart. All righty. I think more scarily packed for the considering how the damage was and a guy would think oh these are the these are the exciting thing okay first this here there it is that's my iographer and it's got the handles on the side let me open it up here uh, let's open it up here So there it is, so my iPad will actually go in here and that hole right there is where the video will be filmed and so it's got the two handles so that you give a little more uh, stability to my wife when she's filming. And this section here with the threaded uh, area, that's something that uh, I think is going to really help out because that's where these lenses go on. And this particular one is 37 millimeter wide angle lens. And it, I think, is going to help when I'm moving around more in that space that we film our videos in upstairs, which hopefully one day will be more like a studio than a spare bedroom. And uh, there it is. I'm going to put it right back in the box after because I want to keep it nice. But see if we can even, maybe even screw this one on. And then that will screw right into here.
And that's actually the setup I'm most excited about because that'll uh, give me that extra distance. So when I'm moving around a lot in the space, it'll be a lot easier to film and get my whole body so you can see the complete exercise and movement. Now this one here is a telephoto lens. Probably don't use this one as much. Maybe when we're hiking in the summer, if I uh, want to do a video of a hike and show some of the scenery that we're seeing, the telephoto lens uh, might come in really handy. But for our day-to-day -day stuff, that's really the setup that I'm most, most after. Alrighty, guess what? Time is going off, let me just shut this off here. Cooking some chicken, doing my uh, cooking for the week, my meal prepping. So just go on to the last item here, and then I'll go deal with my chicken. And this here is a pogo stick. So the reason why we wanted to add this on to our list of things to get is it just creates a little more movement. It actually screws right into the bottom of this, like that. Wow, this just come together like magic. If I was filming at this height, I'm just like this, and if I want to move over here, it just creates a little more stability, but also ease of movement to, so we can film from different angles, whereas the tripod is a little slower and a little more clunkier to move around. So I think this is going to improve the quality of our videos a lot. So keep an eye out. See if you can see the difference. Leave a comment if you can see some difference. Maybe also leave a comment on some equipment that you uh, might suggest that I use for future upgrades because I'm going to continue to try to upgrade my equipment so I can improve the quality of the videos to give you guys even better content. So anyway, this is Fit and 50. Sign out. Keep working out. Keep having fun. And we'll talk to you in that next video where we'll be trying all this cool new stuff.